At room temperature, two molecules of the brown gas nitrogen dioxide, or NO2, readily combine to form a molecule of the colourless gas dinitrogen tetroxide, or N2O4, in what is an exothermic reaction. You might expect, then, that a closed flask of NO2 left out at room temperature will lose its brown colour over time, as it reacts to form colourless N2O4. And indeed this is what happens, to a certain extent. However, after a certain point, the gas in the flask retains a brownish-yellow tinge that does not diminish with time. Suggesting the end result of the overall reaction is a mixture of NO2 and N2O4. This is an example of a reversible reaction, or a reaction that can move both in a forwards direction, with molecules of NO2 combining to form N2O4, and in the reverse or back direction, with molecules of N2O4 disassociating to form NO2 again. At the start of the experiment, the flask contains molecules of just one gas, NO2, so the reaction can only move in a forwards direction. As NO2 is converted into N2O4, the concentration of brown NO2 drops and the concentration of colourless N2O4 rises. This is why the brown colour starts to dissipate. However, as the concentration of N2O4 increases, so does the rate of the back reaction, as there are now more N2O4 molecules available to disassociate back into NO2. Conversely, the rate of the forward reaction decreases as the concentration of NO2 decreases. Eventually, the system reaches a state of dynamic equilibrium, in which the forward reaction's production of N2O4 is balanced by the back reaction's production of NO2. From this point on, the concentrations of both gases do not change. As fast as NO2 reacts to form N2O4, it is replenished as N2O4 disassociates to reform NO2. This is why the gas mixture retains an unchanging brownish-yellow tinge at equilibrium. The equilibrium constant can be used to calculate the relative proportions of each gas at equilibrium. At any given temperature, the concentration of N2O4 divided by the concentration of NO2 squared yields a unique fixed value, called the equilibrium constant. At 25 degrees Celsius, the equilibrium constant for this reaction has a value of about 217. What this means is that a final equilibrium mixture containing, for example, a 0.08 mole per litre concentration of N2O4 will still have about a 0.02 mole per litre concentration of residual NO2. Or for approximately every four molecules of N2O4, one molecule of NO2. So although at equilibrium the bulk of NO2 has been converted into N2O4, the equilibrium mixture still contains a significant amount of NO2.